blog from March 18, 2003, Henry Jenkins emphasizes uh, that children learn extremely well by engaging with their favorite Sesame Street characters in different forms. For example, stuffed animals, books, and computer games, in addition to the popular TV program. According to Jenkins, transmedia or learning through different formats, which allows children to recall what they have learned in relation to a character from a television show when they next encounter that character in a book or as a stuffed animal. In addition, Jenkins' argument that transmedia is a great way to teach kids, he points out that children also use imaginative play to help them work through their problems. Jenkins even summarizes a child psychologist to point out that children need to read stories that acknowledge the darker sides of life because children need resources for thinking through how they should respond to the things that frighten them in the real world. Interpreting Jenkins' idea of transmedia play through Marshall McLuhan's chapter titled The Medium is the Message, I see Jenkins' idea of transmedia as a structure that creates the potential for a creative reimagining of the world for any one individual. I make this conclusion based on McLuhan's ideas that the medium of communication fundamentally uh, shapes a, a communication itself, and further, that what a user does with a medium constitutes more of his or her message than what the user would usually think of as the content of his or her message. So Jenkins Transmedia provides not only a structure for reinterpretation of one's world, but sends the message that one should reformulate his or her world through play. Jenkins Transmedia is an example of a medium that changes what McLuhan would call existing processes by making them faster or more intense, uh, and that such changes have psychic and social consequences. But McLuhan would point out that the characteristics of the medium are what people should understand. So one should understand exactly what about different forms of media, such as a book, a cartoon, or a stuffed animal, and by playing with one's uh, raw interpretations of the world cook up more for a more productive worldview. When people understand the character of the media in which they work, they can operate with a clear vision, according to McLuhan. Further, he argues that a society is organized around oral or print culture and that they conflict, but by understanding the differing grammars of each society, we can halt the conflicts between cultures. McLuhan's examples of the French Revolution and the English Revolution that never was do not seem to, to prove that, that understanding different cultures can stop intense cultural conflict. As, as McLuhan points out, the English Revolution did not happen because the ancient oral traditions of common law and the medieval institution of parliament did not allow print culture to organize citizens the way that print culture was able to organize the citizens of France. I think that for an individual to understand his or her own ways of being in the world in relation to how technology organizes social interaction could lead to that person's personal growth and contentment. But such contentment for the individual is different from two powerful parties that go through a process of understanding themselves and technology's structural impositions and further understanding the same about the other party. Certainly real world understandings can be achieved. The British did leave India, apartheid did officially end in South Africa, great growers did um, provide better working conditions and better pay for workers in the San Joaquin Valley, uh, and Malcolm X did reshape the civil rights movement in the United States. So transmedia may have the potential to help ameliorate conflict.